Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ranger Plays New Pokemon Snap. Uh, we have done so much in this game so far, and I think we're getting close to end game, and I'm super excited for that. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, you know, you guys, if we're just gonna jump right into this. No delays, no worries. Uh, if you guys haven't been following, just go and check out the playlist. Uh, while you're also checking out the playlist, maybe check out some of the other Let's Plays, or check out our Ranger Logs if you haven't already. Uh, so... We're going to try and complete this game as soon as possible, and if you guys don't know, uh, consider following me on Twitch, consider following me on Twitter, those are the best places to reach me, and you can actually be involved with these Let's Plays, see them happening firsthand, and just get to have a really fun time in these uh, streams. It is honestly some of the most fun we have, and I really want you guys to just be involved in this community, but uh, until then, why don't we just keep playing this game? I'm just going to see if there's anything different tonight. Just a quick trip through. Oh. Wait, am I supposed to... Was I supposed to do that this whole time? What does that do? Does this do anything? Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Oh! It's a meteor form mini or Is it about to shed its form? Is it going to do it? Oh, look, there he... Oh, he's sleeping! <laughs> He's sleeping. Ah, something changes here every time, and I love it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh, hello. Come on, do it. Howl. Ah, that was cool. I got that. If I start throwing Lumina orbs at them, then, uh. Oh. Oh, there's a green one. <laughs> there's so much freaking happening right now. But this one was great. There was a sleepy trap inch. The trap inch was sleeping in the ground and it was kind of adorable. I love it. Or it was stuck, but I think it was sleeping. And then this really epic lichen rock. Look at this. So it's up there and then it lets out a big howl, which was kind of cool. The cacnea fell over. It was kind of adorable. It was uh, rolling down the hill and it fell over, so it was kind of, it was just kind of cute. I took this really awesome picture of Lycan Rock, a wooing with a leer eye under some glowing uh, lights, and yet him disgruntledly throwing an apple on the ground is worth more. I don't understand, but I'm kind of happy about it. Our next research site will be a volcano, so I guess we just had to get a certain amount of like pictures or something. Will we be okay? Absolutely. I just finished reinforcing the Neo 1 for extra safety. Can Pokemon really live in a volcano? That's why we need you to go find out. Thanks. Wow, just go off, kids. Go to a volcano. But I just discovered something a little earlier. Before we go swimming in lava, let's go back down to the bottom of the sea. Because guess what we found? A luminous spot. I didn't even know that was there. All right, we're gonna be okay. Ooh, we're starting underwater, that's neat. Okay, oh wait, maybe it could be a starter. Maybe a, uh... Oh, it's rumbling. Oh, it is wishy-washy, it is uh, wishy-washy. I, I thought it was something else, but I didn't think it was gonna be the actual thing. Look at that. Oh, but they're only glowing when they're in school form. Let's see, that one's a little different. They're so scared looking. There's like, oh my gosh, no. Okay, so I hit you with Lumina. And you're running off. So maybe I have to hit them all with Lumina? They are really hard to hit. Okay, so I, I hit like three of them. I can hear it rumbling. Look at that, see? Oh man, you can hear it. You can hear it. Here it comes. There it is. Cool. Look at that. This would be so amazing. Like in real life. Oh man. Let's see if I can get. It's not really glowing as much. I want to see if I can make it glow a little bit more. It's not easy. It's not easy. 
They're all right here for the picking. This would be this would be too stress inducing in VR. And this is great just as it is. More orbs. They should come back around. Oh, there we go. Here we go. They're coming back. Are they gonna come from over there? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's moving faster now. Ooh, look at that. It's such an interesting concept. It's one Pokemon in with a bunch of giant Pokemon. It's, it's one giant Pokemon with a bunch of Pokemon inside of it. The orb fig physics underwater are just kind of annoying. Ooh, but that, look at that. Look at that. The glows. Ah, oh, that's cool. The glows. Okay, but first things first. Oh, hey, look, there's some. This, uh... There you go. You can have some. You have some more. You have some more glow. Have all the glow. Just, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You can see, you see them all grouping up. That's cool. They're all grouping up. And then there it is. Okay, let's see if I can get it from a distance. Oh, that's a great front shot. Jeez, that's so cool. I think what's great about this is that, like, its design looks like a uh, large predator Pokemon. I like these swimming pictures. Look at that. Look at those patterns. I love those patterns. There's so much cool stuff about this design. How are things? Research going okay? Yeah, it's going alright. Listen, I know you can take the Neo 1 to off to other islands, but why not trapping some photos here? You may already be familiar with the Pokemon around here, but I bet you'll find new ones if you look. Just choose this icon. Okay, so cool. We can actually, uh, we can actually take photos in the area. Okay, neat. Let's take some photos around camp. Oh, Starly! I love Starly. Starly is one of my favorite bird Pokemon. Aw, she's jumping. I, I kind of want to throw an apple at this Meowth. Oh, he's up. Starly is really adorable and honestly one of the best designed bird Pokemon. Like. I, I wish Starly got like a Mega Evolution or something. And Trubbish is actually pretty adorable, guys. J Trubbish is really adorable and deserves a lot less of the hate. Because it's, it's, it's a pretty cute Pokemon. And I think it eats garbage too, so like it could actually be really beneficial. But uh, I'm ready. I am super ready. You guys ready? Super excited to get to the Volcano section. That was actually one of my favorite sections in the original game. Here you go. Oh... A hot springs? Whoa! Luxray? And more Altaria? I did not expect this much, but it kind of makes sense. What's going on over there? <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Is he gonna hop out? Oh, oh he's right there! Oh, man, that was cool. Oh, and an Aerodactyl. Cool. This is like Jurassic Park. Whoa. G Monferno. Ah, Monferno. I love Monferno. It's one of my favorites. And dang, look at you. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, he's chasing us. He's chasing us. Oh man, that was so cool! Slugma! <laughs> he jumped! He jumped! What do we call a slugma party? A slug vest? Okay, this is probably my, my probably my new favorite area. I mean, yeah, Torterra's back in the first area, but this was great just for Monferno jumping around. And then the Tyrantrum, which was awesome! The Luxray that followed us right after was kind of neat. I just wish I got a better picture. But then there's also the Sleepy Luxray. So I think I'm going to go with Sleepy Luxray. Because look how adorable it is. Okay. This was awesome. Just this alone. That was cool. But then... He started chasing us. And that was kind of cool. Look at that picture. That's the picture. That is the picture of the day right there. That is like thumbnail worthy right there. That's the picture, guys. That's the picture. Slugfest. Slugfest! 
and Slugma. Look at that Slugfest, guys. Look at that Slugfest. That's awesome. How dare you disrespect Slugfest like that? It notices me. It notices me. It roars at me. And then as I'm running away, it starts chasing me. And then it just has to get big and get loud for the epic shot. Worth it. And then he's just staring me down like, yeah, don't come back. We have to go back. We have to go back. And we have to go back to the volcano and like get some of that area. But this I'm pretty excited for. I didn't think there'd be more areas. Ooh, look at that. Definitely some ghost types up in there. That's going to be exciting. I oh, wait, wait. Hello. What was that? A Shinx. Oh, what's up, Monferno? What's up there? Oh, he's training. Look at him. He's practicing monkey style. He just never stops moving. Dang it, there's so much that keeps happening in this area. I keep... Whoa. Whoa. What is that? Do you see this? There's so much happening in this area. Why is that blue? Oh. Aw, he's warming his feet. Oh, I'm sorry, but jeez, what is happening? I'm so confused right now. I mean, it's lava. It burnt the apple. It's red lava. What the heck? What is happening? Oh, it's a, it's a bloom. Whoa. You're up, big guy. Oh, yeah. I got that. You gonna eat that? Oh, where are you going? Sheesh. There is so much that can, like, completely rip me in half in this one area alone. There was a lot to take in that area. Yes, my eyes hurt too, but still, there's so much now I, n I know that I need to try. Look at that. Oh, man, that's a great picture right there. Oh, there's two really good pictures. I don't know which one to use. He's in the air here, but he's doing a pose there. I'm going to save both of those pictures. Charmander, what was going on? What was Charmander doing? Like, look how cute these pictures are. He was getting warm on his feet, but then he was doing something here. Like, he was... What? That's an excellent photo right there. Perfect Tyrantrum Heine. Excellent. Turku. I loved Turku in the anime. It was like, Turku! Turku! So I was crying. It was kind of adorable. I guess we're going to hit the Lumina spot. But there was so much in there. I'm going back to the volcano. I'll do the Luma spot after. Oh, they got scared. I'm sorry, little guys. What on earth are they doing? I think they're calling for something. Ooh, okay, I got that. I, I got that. That was cool. That was actually a really cool picture. Interesting. This place gets a little more interesting each time. Okay, but I got an excellent, I got a four-star Typhlosion picture. Ah, oh, man, that's a great picture. Wow, I'm actually close to leveling up. Wow, this might be the first time I level up something to level three. All right, I'm going to go back one more time, and I want to hit those crystal blooms. Because something's going to happen when I hit them. I'm not worried about pictures this time. I just want to mainly get the uh, crystal blooms. Maybe to open up new pathways. A little further. I hit it. What'd it do? Oh, Monferno. It's staying still. That's what it's doing. What is up there? Oh, well, there's Monferno, who's training. I love watching this Monferno train. I better see it evolve into Infernape later. Hi. Hello. Thank you for sticking around for a sec there. All right, let's see if I get a better score. I kind of want to go back and get that one, that one. But there's also a luminous spot that I should be getting. But I kind of want to save it for later. Look at that Monch and Aerodactyl. It's got to be a, come on. All right, all right, sweet. 
And it looks like I go up another rank too. So geez. This is the first time I've done a level 3. Wow. I didn't expect to get that much. And how much higher does this thing go? Jeez. Let me save some photos. And I gotta debate what to do next. So I got this Aerodactyl picture. But look at this. Ow. Nom, 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 nom. Love that picture. Alright. We're going to the Lumina spot. This is gonna be cool. Let me get rid of that. Uh... Let's do this. We're gonna let's let's see what Pokemon it's gonna be. I'm expecting a fire type because we've gone grass, water, so fire seems reasonable. I'm expecting it to be like a Charizard, but I'd be pleasantly surprised if it was something else. Volcanion. It's a Larvesta. No, wait, shoot. Is Larvesta is its preform? What's its final form? Whoa, two of them? Volcon Volconer. Wow. Volcanorona, wow. This is gonna be cool. Yes, Volcanoronas, yes. It, it took me a minute. Well, how do I put out the flames, huh? Throw apples at it? It's it's like a little boss battle, too. This is also the first time we've seen two sort of like Pokemon of this caliber in the same area. Like, I know they're not two legendary Pokemon, but they're pretty powerful Pokemon. I'm trying the only thing I know. Throwing apples. Okay. I think I have to be closer to hit it. Or I have to hit it like on the back or on the head. Yeah, see, there we go. But then it'll run away the second I get... It's good at evading my stuff. Okay, so this is interesting. They're not really giving me a chance to hit them. But when I do get the chance to hit them, like, they're really close. Okay, so I hit it. I hit it. But where is it? Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh, look at that. I got lucky on that last one. Jeez. I got lucky on that last one. Jeez. Man, that was kind of stressful. That one was not easy and wasn't exactly fun, but it was something. Every part of Lentil is home to its own Lumina Pokemon. The question is, how could Captain Vince have found that out? He only wrote about meeting two Lumina Pokemon, right? Yes, and he also wrote that there were four. The mysteries just keep piling up. Indeed, that's what makes this so intriguing. So I definitely think we're in the end game of this game. Uh, so yeah, for sure we are definitely in the end game of this game. Um, I think the new area is where we'll see the last one. And then hopefully it'll like have us fighting against some big threat. I don't know what that threat might be. Especially if it's something from space. Maybe it's Deoxys. Uh, especially considering that Mew was in the original game as like the final boss. But uh, I'm curious as to what this would be. So, there's a lot more to see in this game. There's so much going on. I'm really excited about it. But, for now, we're going to call it. I really appreciate you guys coming around. If you guys are ever interested, if you guys want to be involved, follow me on Twitch at the Ranger Base, Twitter at the Ranger Base to stay up to date with all the latest stuff happening. And, of course, share, subscribe, like, all that stuff. It really helps this channel grow. And I have a new Ranger log coming out really soon. I'm working really hard on it, and I think you guys are going to like it. But until then, keep exploring, keep having fun, and keep snapping those picks, trainers. Have a good one. See you later.